Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, hope you're having a great day and as always, thank you for subscribing. So I'm now going to be listening to a track by Deep Purple. I think it's the first time I've reacted to Deep Purple on this channel. And this track is called Never Before. Um, it was taken from the album Machine Head and it entered UK Top 40 on the 1st of April 1972. So Deep Purple at this point, I think they comprised of Ian Gillen, uh, Richie Blackmore on guitars, Roger Glover on bass, John Lord on the keyboards and Ian Pace on drums. So yeah, without further ado, I'm looking forward to listening to this. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a huge hit in uh, the UK, but um, I think it was around about that time in the early 70s when there was quite a bit of rock um, in the UK top 40 and uh, in popular music in general, uh, with the likes of um, not only Deep Purple, but um, I think you had things like Hawkwind and probably a groups like um, Black Sabbath as well. So, yeah, without further ado, me rambling on, uh, I'm going to press play and see, and hopefully this won't get blocked. I've had a few of these um, tracks, these rock tracks, get blocked for some reason. I avoid, I purposely avoid videos. Um, that are filmed in Germany um, for these bands because um, I have had pretty much all of them blocked in the past from different bands, um, especially from the Beat Club and um, and a few from Montreux as well. So uh, yeah, without further ado, this is Deep Purple with Never Before. So I think uh, I, I I love the vibe of this song. It's uh, good old rock and roll, and uh, guitar is really standing out for me as well. This, uh, as for the as for the lyrics, it sounds like somebody who's quite young and they've met a female, um, and they've had more feelings for the woman or for the girl than she's had for them, and ultimately she's either dumped them or she's um, been seeing somebody else as well. She's sounds like she's a bit of a player whereas they're in, very inexperienced and easily hurt and this second bit of a chorus the second bit of a verse actually sounds like he's reflecting on that maybe uh, but it's good it's a good bit of a uh, good bit of rock 
la parlobe. Well, that was great. That was uh, Deep Purple with Never Before. Um, I love that. Uh, I think that was the... Uh, I thought it was a guitar at first, but that was uh, sounded like the keyboards. So that would have been John Lord. Um, really impressed with... I think it was Richie Blackmore playing that uh, guitar break. I might be wrong. Uh, I'm not sure if Ian Gillen was uh, a guitarist on this or whether he was just a lead vocalist, but uh, it, was a, it was a really nice song about... Um, young love and and as as they get older they can you can sort of look back at those naive um emotions that we had which felt very deep and real um and it's it's no surprise actually why uh, a lot of young people get very um emotionally um cut by what happens in life i think um young people i mean you know back back in the day it was probably just you know, your biggest issue was very little when, you, when you're younger and um, being in love was probably the first time that you get really get hurt. Uh, I think these days there's so much other things going on with, um, with uh, young, young teenagers and, you know, teenagers and uh, young adults that um, it's kind of no surprise that their emotions are on a roller coaster. I'm sort of like uh, digressing a little bit. This is a really good rock song. Um, I've only ever heard one, maybe two Deep Purple songs. Um, the second Deep Purple song, I can't think of what it is, but that was in the 80s. And prior to that, the other one was the famous um, Smoke on the Water. So I'm really curious as to know whether the lineup, um, whether the members of the band in 1972, how many of them were still in the band in 1977 or 1976, 77, when I think um, Smoke on the Water came out. Um, I know, I've heard of Richie Blackmore, and so I know that he went on to uh, Rainbow, uh, if I'm right, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I've seen Ian Gillen on Top of the Pops um, as a solo artist, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to maybe, uh, I'll wait to, to read your, your comments first uh, before, I, before I have a look at the history of the band. And, uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to know what happened to all these members post-1972, how long were they together and, and maybe who stepped in to fill their roles if they left. So guys, yeah, let me, let me know what you think about this song. Uh, about his band, uh, join me in the comments below. If you have any recommendations, I'm all ears. I love a bit of uh, rock. And um, yeah, for sure, have a great day and I will speak to you soon. Um, and take care of yourselves.